Buddhism can be a philosophy and a religion because it teaches you a way of life. The goal of a Buddhist is to become a Buddhist. The goal of a Buddhist is to eliminate suffering. The complete elimination of suffering for our life is possible, is definitely possible. That elimination of suffering for our mind, when we reach that state, it is called nirvana, in the general sense of the word. The day Buddha became enlightened or reached nirvana is a day celebrated by Buddhists all over the world is because that's what we wish to achieve. So we are celebrating our goals. Vaisak Day is celebrated for Buddhists around the world is to connect with our goal, connect with the purpose of practicing Buddhism, connect with the very person who showed us our potential, the Buddha. Vaisak Day is a celebration of Lord Buddha's enlightenment, mainly along with his birth and his death. So therefore, Vaisak Day is a celebration, connection, and spiritual remembrance of what we wish to achieve. That is Vaisak Day. Buddhism, as you know, is one of the oldest religions in the world. It's over 2,500 years old. And the founder, the teacher, and the beginner, as you can call it, is Buddha Shakyamuni who was a North Indian prince and he is a historical figure also. He's not something that is legendary, but he's a historical figure. And uh, Lord Buddha looked into the nature of life, existence, family, people. And he had decided that many things we do in our lives bring us a lot of grief, unhappiness, and sadness. And we keep doing the same things, unknowingly, bringing more grief and more sadness and more unhappiness. And in his great compassion, he noticed that, he saw that, and he taught methods and ways to deal with how we live our lives, how we view our environment, and how we react to our environment. And when we change that reaction to our environment, we change the end result. When we change the end result, we create less grief. But the goal of Buddhists is to gain that enlightenment so that we don't create something for ourselves and others and then share that with others. The goal of Buddhism is removal of suffering for others first and then oneself. So therefore, Respect of animals, respect of people, of culture, of other uh, ways of doing things is very, very important in Buddhism. Respect of other human beings is extremely important in Buddhism. People take vows, they do prayers, they do meditations, they go on pilgrimage. Some of them go on pilgrimage to holy places of Buddha, like Bodhaya. Some people stay in meditation. Some people become a monk for a month. Some people go and visit their teachers, some people go rescue animals, some people go to charity. Since Buddha was the Prince of Peace, was an exponent of love and great compassion, of course Buddha's compassion and love encompasses every single being and animals and insects because every single sentient being a sentient being, someone that's alive, something that's alive, can feel pain, can feel happiness, can feel love, can feel care, can feel pain. So what is the difference if I take a knife and cut my skin, cut my flesh, cut your flesh, you feel pain, and then if I cut the flesh of a bird? Maybe the bird cannot talk or scream like we can, but it still feels pain. So on my Day, in celebration of Buddha's compassion, and simultaneously, the wish for us to develop that compassion, we liberate animals. To remember, to take something from us to give to others without expecting thank you. So you can liberate birds, cows to be slaughtered, fishes, insects. 
You can liberate any animal you like and you can go further. If you don't want to liberate animals, you can go and make donations to old folks' home, orphanages, to people who are homeless, to people who are mentally challenged. You can give clothes and toys to children. You can do all of that to celebrate. Because that day is not a day of getting, it is a day of giving. So as a Buddhist, on Vesak Day, we should make a commitment to learn up on Buddhism, to understand what the Buddha taught, to understand his life, to understand his teachings, and to apply it to your mind and to gain real changes in your life, an attitude change, a transformation from so my message to Buddhists is be respectful of other religions, other people. Be respectful of their faith or their, their atheism. Everyone deserves happiness, compassion, and love. Be regardless of what religion they are. And if we all abide by this kind of thinking, the world will be at peace. That's what Lord Buddha taught us. Happy Vesapik.